wonder if you could throw your voice toward heaven and shout, there is no name. Oh, no, 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 we could do better than that. There is no name like the name of Jesus. There is no equal. There is no power. There is no throne. There is no proclamation that can make this Christ sit down under the authorities of another. There is no authority on earth, in heaven, or in hell that can conquer the risen king. And if you're here this morning and you know him as the risen savior, you ought to clap your hands, you ought to shout, you ought to magnify God with everything you have. He has no rival. Shout, he has no rival. He has no rival. He has no equal. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. There's such a sweet presence of the Lord in this room right now, and there's a presence of God right where you are. And all you have to do is extend your hands toward heaven, and in the solemn moment of recognizing him as the King of kings and the Lord of lords, he will take every one of your needs and wrap them up in the bounty of his favor and cover them in the garments of his holiness, and every need will be supplied according to his word and according to his work by Christ Jesus our Lord. If you found him to be the truth and you've discovered that every other thing is a lie, you ought to give God a hand clap of praise this morning that there is none who can defeat him. There is none who can overwhelm him. There is no need that can abrogate him. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Touch two people and tell them you look good on Easter Sunday morning. You look good on Easter Sunday morning. You look good on Easter Sunday. Come on, say it like you have a conviction. Some of y'all looking at each other saying, I don't know about that. Can you hear me? Tell your wife she looks good on Easter Sunday morning. If thou doest this thing, it will go well with thee. That's the King James Version. Amen. Aren't you happy to be in the presence of the Lord this morning? If you don't know the person sitting next to you, introduce yourself to them and tell them, I'm happy to be worshiping with you this morning. The Lord Jesus Christ, the resurrected King of glory. Hallelujah. As we stand, we're inviting all of you to participate with us as we come together and bring our tithe and offering to God. And if you're our guest this morning, we want you to know that the bounty and favor of God is released in the earth despite what you may be hearing on the news or seeing in your social media feed. This word that we have hold of this morning cannot be subjugated to any earthly throne, nor can it be conquered by any decision of any man. This is the word of the Lord, and his word is truth. Amen? Amen. So if you are a part of this congregation, we're inviting you to join with us as we make this declaration over our tithe and offering. Someone said to me uh, <clears throat> not so long ago that uh, they didn't quite uh, appreciate the people of God focusing on the blessing of God so much. I don't, and I don't understand how Christianity can correlate with that mindset, but the entirety of Christianity is all about what God did for us when we could not do it for ourselves. <clears throat> so I want you to know that God has a way of blessing you even outside the realms of your logic and reason. He can bring you blessings that you're not deserving of, nor can you manufacture with your own genius and the will of your own hand. God is able to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. And if there's ever a time in America's history where we need him, it's today. Amen? So I'm going to make this declaration for myself. And I'm inviting you to join in with me. Jesus, upon the authority of your word. Come on now, let's say it like we have a conviction for it. Jesus, upon the authority of your word. I have given, and it shall be given to me. 
pressed down, shaken together, and running over. I am a tither and a sacrificial giver. Today, you're pouring out upon me such blessings that I have not room enough to receive them. Today, today, today. Oh, come on, somebody. Shout today. We declare. All of us declare. Say it. Surprises, bills paid off, debt demolished, royalties received, my whole family saved and walking with God in perfect health and in abundance. Lord, according to your word, I am blessed coming in and I'm blessed going out. All that I do shall prosper in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. And, it, and is it is so. Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. You can give online, you can give in person, you can give by text, you can give by the lady named Zell. But whatever you do, watch God perform his word in your life when you put him first. Can you say amen?